Hi, today I show you how to make South German pretzels. As you may know, we are from Germany and it's very hard for us to find good pretzels here in New York. So we do it ourselves. It's very easy. You just need like five ingredients. So let's get started. First, put the flour into the bowl. Then the salt and then the yeast. Or as we Germans say, yeast. Then also put the water into the bowl. Use the hook attachment and start mixing it on the lowest setting for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes crank it up to level 2 and keep mixing it for another 5 to 8 minutes. After that add the oil and keep mixing it for another 5 minutes. Remove the dough from the bowl and start kneading it with your hands till you have a smooth round ball of dough. Add some olive oil to the bowl and make sure the whole dough is covered with it to prevent it from drying out. Cover the dough and let it rise for one to two hours till it's doubled in size. Get the dough out of the bowl and give it another good knit till it removes all the air. Divide the dough into six equal pieces. Roll them into small uh, rolls around um, 10 to 15 centimeters long. Now start rolling them out. Keep a thicker part in the middle and then go thinner to the ends. So with pretzel it's the same as with pancakes. The first one is always an exercise. But no worries, the other one will turn out fine. Place the pretzels onto a baking sheet and wrap them in cling film. Now we need to proof them a second time. This time overnight and in the fridge. The next day. Get the pretzels out of the fridge and remove the cling film. Now we need to let them rest for another 30 minutes. Preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius and place a pan with water onto the bottom. We use real life for our recipe here, not like a baking soda like in many other recipes. But you need to be cautious and wear gloves and protective eyeglasses. We need to create a 4% solution. That means on 500 milliliter of water, you need 20 grams of lye. Now you need to dunk the pretzels into the lye for about three to four seconds. Then place them back onto the baking sheet. Now get a sharp knife, not like I did, and make some cuts into the pretzels. Last but not least, you need to add some coarse salt to the pretzels. Now place them into the center of your preheated oven. After 10 minutes, rotate them so they will bake evenly. After another 10 minutes, they should be ready. They need to be pretzel brown, like in the picture. You now can remove them from the oven and place them onto a cooling rack. The best way to enjoy them is with some fresh butter. Thanks for watching. 